Another mass shooting striking a town outside of Chicago during a 4th of July parade. Fox's Madeline Rivera has the latest on the investigation out of Highland Park, Illinois. Also a look at the new details about the suspect's past. The investigation into the deadly mass shooting at a 4th of July parade in Highland Park, Illinois, continues as we learn more details about the person the police have in custody. Police are identifying 22-year-old Robert Cremo III as a person of interest in Monday's deadly attack. Cremo was taken into custody after an hours-long manhunt. Authorities say North Chicago police had spotted the car Cremo was believed to have been driving. A brief pursuit uh, was uh... Had went on. The subject was taken into custody without incident. Investigators say the shooter targeted people along the parade route, killing at least six and injuring more than two dozen. When the shots rang out, some people first mistook them for fireworks before quickly realizing what they were. My granddaughter said to me when she was leaving, she's like, Pop up, don't let the bad guys shoot you. And she's two years old. Police say a high-powered rifle was recovered at the scene. As the investigation continues, more details are being revealed about Cremo's background. His uncle says he was quiet, but did like to make music. He was like a, like a, a YouTube rapper that, that I know, but I never even preview his videos at all. At least one of his videos reportedly featured violent images, including a drawing of a man aiming a gun at another person. Community members now trying to come to terms with the violence. I don't recognize our country anymore. Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to travel to Chicago today for a pre-scheduled event with educators. It's unclear if she'll make a stop at the shooting scene. In Highland Park, Illinois, Malda Rivera, Fox 13 News.